and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Bant Arcbow that we're going to play in Ranked. The rankings reset earlier. We need to get our ranking up, and this was the deck that I played, uh, I guess, last month uh, to get up to Mythic. Um, this was, yeah, this was the deck that I had the most success with, and so wanted to try it some more. So I'm still playing the same list that we've played the last couple of times. Uh, haven't changed any cards, haven't really found anything that I've wanted to change. Um, so yeah, nothing really new here. Uh, yeah, let's just kind of get, get on to it. Um, I guess if you haven't really seen it yet, like we, we are a Vivian's Arcbow deck. This is like maybe our most important card in the deck. Uh, we're trying to just play our lands out, get this Arcbow, and once we hit like five mana, five, six, seven mana and stuff, just keep on activating Arcbow and look for Shalai, look for Lyra, get those in, let those take over. Um, we have the Spark Double in here that we mostly want to Spark Double Shalai. That's like the, that's the goal, and get that that combo in like where you have Shalai, uh, double Shalai in play so that everything that we play throughout the whole game has hexproof, including ourself. Uh, we're trying to get that combo in um, to blank every removal spell opponents have, and yeah, that's what we have. So let's go ahead and give this a try, and see if we can. Rank up, because we are back to being, let's see, where is it at? We're back to being the very lowest that we can be um, after going 0-4 with Grixis midrange earlier, unfortunately. Uh, who do we want to be? I don't want to be Bolas. I'm over being Bolas. Let's Balance be Tristani. Be we were Tristani when we went 5-0 with Bant Party Bus. So Tristani seems like a good pick. Yeah, Shalai with Spark Double is is just awesome. Ow. All right, pretty good hand. Just has good mana. So we'll take it. So we'll be playing like five matches here with the deck. And see how we do with it. See if we can go 5-0, maybe 4-1, 3-2. All those would be nice. Getting winning, winning records on um, in the ranked matches is really all we're trying to do. All right, well, those are two pretty poor draws. We really don't want more lands. The card I really want to draw, of course, is Shalai right now. We have the Spark Double in play, so I want to draw Shalai. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's waste some time. I've got it. Just get to dig another card towards a Shalai. Yeah, Hawkeye's a male cat. Yep. No, Kaya's Wrath Cleansing Nova, the sweepers still would kill a Shalai and Spark Double. Yeah, so those would still work. This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. All right, that's a good card. Arcbow can help us find Shalai. That go to this looks to be, you know, like that uh, mass manipulation deck. That's what it's looking to be. I 
Yep. Together we will prevail. Harness the elements. All right, Arkbo, help us out. This would be ideal time to hit Shalai, untap, spark double it. This would be really ideal. If we win this game, it's certainly just going to be on the back of Arkbo. So the problem with Arkbowing first to get to a blocker, if they have Entrancing Melody... Um, then, you know, they just steal the Shalai, second main... All right, I need to be worried about dying. So I'm playing another Growth Chamber Guardian to help block. I still get to activate for four. We'll go for five. Five could hit Dawnbringer. No, I can't. I can't copy my opponent's stuff. I can only copy my own things. We are super, super far behind, though. It's unlikely we win this, but we're still going. We're still trying. Gross. No, that's that's game. Yeah. I can't, I can't make, I can't, uh, cause you know, they get to activate the druid there. I can, I can go to one, but after that I can't actually win. Hmm. 
All right, so this matchup is not a Growth Chamber Guardian matchup. Um, it's not really an Oketra matchup. All right, so I can go like this, or I can play... I want to keep a couple Baffling Ends in because of Krasis. Krasis is the card that can be a problem. Maybe I don't need him with the time wipes, though. Twenty-three, twenty-two creatures. All right. Oh, Hawkeye's not on my lap anymore. Move that back up. Sorry. This is an ideal hand. So if they just pass the turn, yeah, I have to be worried about Frilled Mystic. So I'm just going to play the Arc Bow and have the Veto available. Because I have to be worried... I have to be worried about Frilled Mystic countering the Spark Double. Alright, Rev Daddy. Have a good night. Enjoy the game. Ice, I think you have your, your cat laying on your keyboard. So a bunch of Brontodons, huh? No, let's go two and two. Good old copy shall I. They're done. Can't can't mass manipulate stuff if all your things have hex proof. How do I manage to not get salty ever? I don't know, it's just not I don't think it's too I don't think it's like really useful to be salty and I don't think it's a good viewing experience for to for y'all if I was just like sitting here complaining and everything. Just try to enjoy, you know, I'm playing magic here. Like, magic is awesome. And I just just want to enjoy it, you know? Sure, sometimes I lose, and sometimes I make mistakes that cost me the games that I lose. 
we just try to learn from them and enjoy it and move on, you know? <laughs> Looks like a frilled mystic here. Frilled Mystic is such a great card. Like, getting out ahead, you know, being on the play, having a mana creature, and then cast, then Frilled Mystic right away, like, that's so strong. I mean, that's obviously, I, I have, like, the same stuff in my deck, you know? Trying to do that, too. But, yeah, being on the play, being able to do that, just puts you so far ahead. I'm going to be relying on this Time Wipe later. Only two cards left in hand. Hopefully not great cards. Just no attacks. Yeah, I think they just clicked through attacks there. By accident. Crisis. Oh Alright, so I'm gonna just hold this up. I'll either frilled mystic if they have like a Nissa. Or if if not, if, you know, if I would have just taken the three from the crazes, then I would have just had Arkbo ditch the Llanowar Elf. No manipulation for you. <laughs> Alright, time to take out these crises. I'm just going to hold on these elves to ditch to Arcbow. Crazy, crisis, crisis eye, crises. I don't know. So between uh, Shalai copying itself, or like having double Shalai out, and between having Tristani out, not so bad against mass manipulation. Oh yeah, losing is definitely frustrating. Yeah, but yeah, how it's how you learn and reflect and makes you a better player. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's certainly okay to get frustrated uh, for a little bit, but you you have to be able to let it go. You can't just stew on losses and mistakes. You have to move on. Okay, I didn't know that. So a a group of crisis are called a crisis of crisis. The more you know. Uh, 
All right, so Thought Erasure deck. I do not want my Arcbow get, to get Thought Erasured. So I am getting Arcbow on the battlefield immediately. Unfortunately, it's Grixis, where Grixis has a lot of artifact removal between uh, Bedevil and Grass Rampage, things like that. That's unfortunate for my little Arcbow. Hello. <laughs> wow, lets me untap with GCG. Kefnet. Hmm. So do I try to hit Frilled Mystic here? I have three Frilled Mystic in the deck? No, I'm not going to. Hey, thanks, Arx Jelly. I don't have, you know, like, tons of cards in hand and everything, and I, I want to try to... Try to be able to activate Arc Bow with a little bit more mana. Wow, talk about cards that are good to draw. Arx Jelly, if that sub gets us a sub you number 24 on the day. Go mark that down. I'll protect you. Now I'll be able to activate Arcbow for six. We can ditch this Growth Chamber Guardian. That should get me towards hitting Frilled Mystics. Or whatever else I want to hit. Seven. Here we go. Maybe I should just play this July. Hmm. No, we're activating Arcbow. Yeah, I'm activating Arpo. Casting cards just makes it a lot easier for our opponent to like pl to plan out their turn and everything. Said so I'll I'll just be like ditching all these things, you know, because if I play Lyra, they just like use their removal spell, kill Lyra, and then I just go to my turn and and so on. Where if they have to like attack here and then wait till like end step like basically make make them play instant speed <laughs> oh good parry grip i really should have seen that coming yeah you should have to fairy Kind of looking for Oketra here. Yeah, like Oketra would be nice. Um, Frilled Mystic has the most power of those things. So it's got to be Ritual of Soot that our opponent has still, right?
All right, still making them play this instant speed game. They had a couple instants. That was a good turn for them. I needed to switch those. I needed Oketra last turn and then Frilled Mystic this turn. <laughs> I need to switch those. Will resonate hey, X Dog, doing good. Earth. How are you doing? Like, I'm assuming they're just going to kill Oketra, but taking a while. Yeah, I used it there because of because of Frilled Mystic. I wanted to hit Frilled Mystic and counter this Nicol Bolas. That was the plan of using it then. Gross. That's awful for me. That negates. These schemes have been foiled. Now I I know the arc, but the Oketra is one of you know like. Yeah, I really really need that other card to draw with Teferi. And you know need to bounce this Kefnet and all that kind of stuff. Yep, so they did have Ritual of Sid. That, was, that negate hurt. Maybe no removal. Yay, no removal. Teamer mass manipulation. What are you using the red for? So we want these vetoes. Tristani, just, there's multiple things. Frilled Mystic, of course. Um, don't need Deputy or Baffling End. I think I'm going to play Immortal Sons, even though... I think we play Immortal Sons, even though um, they have Bedevils and things like that. It's just such a strong card. Kind of too good not to play. So this means I need to get rid of two more cards. I guess I'd have to get rid of like little Teferis.
So would I rather have Little Teferi or Immortal Sun? Hmm. Honestly, maybe a little Teferi. Here with this matchup. Yeah, Teferi's still just fine with, with Immortal Sun out. Um, but I, I don't really want to take out more creatures. And the problem with Grixis is they do have like the good artifact removal. That's the problem with Immortal Sun against Grixis. Is it costs six mana, and then if they just... You're spending six mana on it... Um, yeah, you know, it's something that like it makes their like discard counter magic, their artifact removal makes all the that kind of stuff pretty good. Growth Chamber Guardian was in the main deck, yeah. I, I just kept those in, but I I did put the Deputy of Detention in the, to the sideboard against decks with lots of removal. I I always cut Deputy of Detention because the the games go longer and it doesn't. You know, it only attacks for one, and it's just not going to stay on the battlefield. Like it will, it will come in and exile something, and then they'll kill it, and then they'll get their thing back. Or even it could just be like sitting in my hand while I'm waiting for them to play something to actually exile. Well, it's just not doing anything. to activate Growth Chamber Guardian. Lucky us. Oh, yeah. Yes, I previously played this deck without Growth Chamber Guardians, yes. I've added them in because I wanted another two-mana spell that could uh, gain some card advantage. Um, I'll still be in pretty good against aggro, like whenever you, in the later game, make it a 4-4. So I don't think I want to play Paradise Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian both out next turn because of Ritual of Soot. So I think my line is likely just going to be just the Paradise Druid. want to wait on Growth Chamber Guardian until I get to play it and activate it immediately. Honestly, with how my hand is, I could, I could certainly see Growth Chamber Guardian be in the pick. Yeah. Not surprised there. Thrilled Mystic wins again. Man, what a card. I like Little Viv, but you can only play so many non-creature spells. And honestly, I would, I think that Little Teferi is better than Little Vivian. Um, and so, yeah, I, I <clears throat> used to have like one Little Teferi and then multiple Little Vivians. And then I just made them all Little Teferis. There.
We've had some bad looking sevens here. So it looks like I'll be ditching the Teferi. There's exiling a Llanowar Elf. Oh, they're trying to target the Arc Bow. So unfortunately, I have a Frilled Mystic down at the bottom. That'd be a card I'd like to hit here. All right, all right. You got to seal away. Yeah, deck list is here. Go, elves, go. So I think I want the Oketra. Yeah, you know, I was definitely considering getting the having the deputy go grab Shalai back, and then Shalai protects deputy. But I want the Oketra because of a wrath. Obviously, we just drew the Frilled Mystics. So that's perfect. But a wrath would um, normally we could just like put the Oketra back, and no matter what our draw step is, we just arc bow for five, and we just get Oketra back. Right, so we just can we could just continually basically have our draw step be instant speed Oketra every single turn, like whenever it gets removed. Hasn't changed since the weekend, no, Rex. Alright, so we're playing just a blue-white control. Playing against blue-white control. We'll have Knight of Autumns in here, destroy some stuff. Twenty six, I'm gonna go two to fairy. Two draw Dawnbringer, one July. All right, this will work. Oh yeah, I should have yeah, you're right. I should have Taken out the Lyra, put in the show. I should have taken out the Lyra, put in the other Shalai. There. Yeah, if we lose this, I'll, we'll get Tristani in there. Because, yeah, Tristan. They could have a Yoink effect. If not, Tristani still.
No. Tristani's still for uh, five mana. It gets us, like, multiple bodies. Instead of just being one creature and just getting exiled. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Hmm. I find your attacks unoffensive. If that's your best, I needn't worry. Yeah, my my poor opponent doesn't like my bow. I guess they like rockets, not bows. My acute awareness of your imperfections is maddening. Uh, no thank you. Clearly, the shortcomings here were mine. All right, in case, so doing it like this in case I need to, to try to hit another Frilled Mystic. You know, for example, if there's another Lyra Dawnbringer. All right, destroy all creatures. We'll just play it safe. Grab another Growth Chamber Guardian. Game two, um, I want I want the Raptors to win. That's who I'm going for, uh, but it's it's hard to say that Golden State won't win. You know, game one, Pascal Siakam just went crazy, 14 out of 17. You gotta say it's pretty likely for Golden State to pull it out this time, but Toronto is at home. They have a chance to get this at home. Yeah, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any of the game at all, of course, because I've been streaming all night. Yeah, it is nice to see not Cavs versus Warriors again. That's true. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Good. Six. Come on. Okay. Phew. All right. That was a panic. Oh, no. Well, at least we can kind of force them to um, force them to use a wrath. That's getting countered. That immortal sun's just getting countered, right? Yeah, 
We saw them earlier have a Dovin's veto, like the one chance they had to counter something. Do I even want to ditch a Knight of Autumn or shall I? Land drops are always good with Arc Bow. <laughs> Basically make it try to make it like as likely as possible that I hit a frilled mystic. So like so we have one we have there's three frilled mystics in the deck, but you know that's what I'm trying to do here is in case I need a frilled mystic. I want it to be very likely, so the more cards I see, the better. So the more lands I put out there, the better. Nine. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Shalai would have countered this as well. If I would have hit Shalai. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that and then just go grab Oketra back. Yeah, no, I should have just let that happen. All right, I completely regret Completely regret doing that. Nova? Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Now I have a chump blocker for this five five. If they want to attack with the five five, they can't really because then I'm I'm attacking back for fifteen. Okay, so I'm still attacking back for 15. Yeah, they could have had Veto instead of Absorb there, certainly. We'll be kings and castles by then. So 
attacking with Lyra here means it got to have a sweeper, right? It's got to be. I'm known for my excellent timing. Hmm. Well, settle won't work now. Unless they counter this. Obviously, we have the Shalai to also stop settle. All right, three zero. Rank up. Yeah, I was going to have the Teferi and the Shalai there. GG's. Yeah, maybe they wanted to bounce something with Teferi. Or maybe they just didn't want me to be able to play a counter spell, though, also. Like, playing the Teferi means... I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad play, but, like, if they had... So if they had a counter spell, I wasn't going to be able to. Or like if I had a counter spell, I wasn't going to be able to counter a settle. <laughs> yeah, our Grixis mid range deck just didn't really come together. Just lost a lot with it. Uh, this deck's a lot is a lot better than the party bus deck, but party deck. Party bus deck is certainly fun, but this is the deck that um, I play with when I rank and everything, and one that I think is quite strong. Let's go with Shalai into Lyra here. I think I kind of feel like this is like four color command. Yeah. Trust me. So let's try this. Look at these angels out there. We will meet again. Yuck. I am not. That's more like it. Ah, uh, no land drop. Well, I certainly regret not just having frilled mystic. But we're you know priced in now. You know, like the last two turns with the basic planes, I can't. I couldn't attack, and then frilled mystic. I had to do it the very first turn. Okay. I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. I guess I should have done that. Main phase, I could attack for an extra one point, which is important against Command the Dread Horde. Discarding Jade Light. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So 
So I could have not attacked with the mana creatures and, and had Shalai activation up, but they're, they're certainly going to be playing stuff here. They're certainly going to be playing something, because they can't play anything instant speed. And they're behind. No, I am not making this up as I go. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> Alright, Growth Chamber Guardian gets outclassed here. Drimno Ketra. Kind of want to fit the Vetoes in, but I guess I guess they have their Teferi Time Ravelers, though, and I'll just have my Frilled Mystics. Yeah, let's get all the baffling ends in. We need to exile Wild Growth Walker. Ugh, so they don't, can't get it back and gain a bunch of life. Alright, so we'll have turn two Paradise Druid, turn three Frilled Mystic. So I'm shocking right now and not you know, I think it's easy to play the Hinterland Harbor right now and then shock next turn if you if you don't draw another on tap land. But if you shock next turn, it's just super obvious the uh, Frilled Mystic. And so instead I can just play Hinterland Harbor next turn and play it like I don't have a, a play and click that over really quick. Don't want to attack with Paradise Druid here. I don't know if it changes any anything from our opponent's side. I don't know if they play any differently. Most likely not. That was likely their only play. I would really like to draw immortal, the Immortal Sun. That's what I'd really like to draw. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Wow. That's not ideal. I didn't change anything since Mercer. I didn't change anything since last weekend. 
you know, like when I had the, the MCQ list, this is the exact same list I've played the last few times. I had the Immortal Sons and the Cyborg. Yeah, that was a big whiff. And of course, it puts them down randomly. You don't can't really see those again. Sierra's not looking out for us this game. The past is never forgotten. Okay. That's good. Basically, I didn't want them to be able to just attack for eight here, and then I have to like do some blocking, and then they get all their creatures back with Command the Dread Horde. So I'm just getting that Jade Light Ranger out of here for good. All right, fair enough. Perfect. Best card I could hit. So now they could command the Dread Horde back a bunch of things and wipe the board again. So they, But they would just be left with a, a Massacre Girl plus a bunch of Explore creatures. And that's like their best thing to do. And yep, looks like that's what they're doing. Oh, not getting a bunch of things. Getting the harpooner. That makes sense, too. I forgot about that harpooner in there. But we're back up to 20. 20 is a good life total. No blocks. Please, no more Command the Dread Hordes. We have so many Explore creatures over here. So two, four, six, nine. I 
I'm not I'm not playing the the Lyra right now cuz I need I need the best chance of finding a frilled mystic I can no longer with an arc bow and watch. in case of command the dread horde 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Which one hits harder? I guess this hits harder. Okay. All right. Good job, Immortal Sun. And good job, Arcbow. All right, 4 0. Let's play one more match. So we're going to do five matches. <laughs> Thanks, Lana. All right, one more match here with Vant Arkbo. Hmm. Is this a keep or? Hey Kojunk. I don't I don't know when the MCQ is. But yeah, this is the deck that I have certainly been winning the most with. Honestly, I should probably be keeping that Arc Bow on top. Yeah, I should keep that on top, honestly, because if there's a if there's like a thought erasure here that takes the first Arc Bow, I have the second. Because if the second one sticks around anyway, I just get to um I get to just discard it anyway. Does anybody know when the next MCQ, like the next arena MCQ is? What if I block? End of next month. Well, Anna Rolf is a good draw. <clears throat> good use of our mana there. That's how it was meant to happen. Yeah, this deck is fun. Yeah, this is a good one. You know, a lot of time you're like spinning the wheel there with Arcbow. All right, we're down to 10.
Jelly. The jellyfish. Most of the removal the BAMP plays is not instant speed. It's usually sorcery speed, stuff like deputy detention and things like that. I think I want to just have the arc bow for six up here, try to hit Lyra or Oketra. Hmm. So I could hit a lot of things, but then that, that does take off my ability for Frilled Mystic. Yeah, I'm, I'll go ahead and, and do it still. Ugh! Ugh! Let's go like this so I can I can use the Growth Chamber Guardian to shuffle those Frilled Mystics back. Ugh. Gross. That was a big mess. Uh, the dredge deck you can find here in the stream decker page there. Uh, I like I'm liking the band arc bow more than gruel these days. Yeah, so now I'm not really playing around sorcery speed removal anymore with me being behind here. Just getting this Shalai out here, gonna activate Growth Chamber Guardian and set up for the next turn. Still wanna hit Lyra. Why do we have to have shock lands? I don't think I can afford shocking. <laughs> Why only three color bow when we could play five colors? Good point. It's a good point. Uh, if I counter this, I die. I could go five. All right, well, not for old Mystic, but a good one. Behold, nature's true power. Petra. What do you do for me, Oketra? Not much. How am I going to deal with this Nissa?
fates. All right, Nissa down. These sleeves, I uh, had to qualify for the Mythic Champion, the MCQ, like the previous weekend. Um, by just qualifying for that and playing in that. Like that, that was the event I streamed with Grixis Control. Remember that one? That's how you get those sleeves. Boom! I'll catch her getting it done. That hitting that Lyra was clutch. Ugh. Yeah, I got them. That's just the tournament number. The the three. That's the tournament number. Alright, so they're banned to explore stuff. Played against Ban earlier. Do I just not want Teferi Time Raveler? No, I don't want Growth Chamber Guardians. That's what I don't want. Yeah, that's what I don't want. Yeah, this looks good. Why no Krasis in the list? Because Krasis is not a good hit off of Arcbow. With that being said, I could see playing Krasis instead of Growth Chamber Guardian. Just to have in the deck. I've been having success, you know, with Growth Chamber Guardian in there, but it's not necessarily because of Growth Chamber Guardian all the time. Yeah, honestly, maybe I should just be playing four Frilled Mystic at all times. Yeah, the card is so good. It's good against everybody. It's just it's just a great card. Yeah, it's a great card. No, Ketra's not bad with bow. Because they kill Oketra, you put it back in your deck, and then you just go grab it again and put it back into play with, with the bow. You just keep getting it back, like, as soon as it dies, and they have to kill it really quickly, because otherwise it kills them. Let's slow this down. I've got no, it works well. All right, I changed my mind there of what I was going to play. So, you know, playing the, the deputy. So, yeah, I, I should just play the Temple Garden in here. Hope that two points doesn't hurt me. Time for plan B. Yeah, Oketra does not. That's true. Oketra doesn't trigger with zombies for bow, but do you need... Do you really need zombies to kill people with Oketra? If you if you draw creatures, you can still cast your creatures and trigger Oketra. If you draw creatures that you want to play, like there's nothing keeping you from casting your creatures still. Don't worry, I got this. Yep, yeah, Bo is. Miles better than Baby Vivian for this, for how I have this deck built with like the 
with angels and everything. It's just really reliable. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty great. Yoink. Yeah, it's cheaper to come out. It just keeps on. It digs so far. Like, that's the thing about Arcbow is that you just get to dig so far every single turn, you know, looking at five, six, seven cards. I will aid you. Or more sometimes. The biggest problem with using the Baffling End there is if they have a Deputy for my Deputy, I wouldn't have a, a ba Baffling End for that Deputy. Well, now I, now I would. Never mind. Blank July 1st to be able to protect Deputy. All four arc bows. Prison Realm and Binding and Ixalan's Binding for the sideboard, they're solid cards. They're certainly reasonable. They're they're pretty fine. Um, I've liked all the things in my sideboard here, and there's I haven't really wanted to take anything out for them, but Yeah, like those are those are good cards. All right, so only one card left in hand. Okay. So now, hopefully, Dawnbringer can take over. Oh, come on. Come on. Ugh. I'll draw a bunch of cards. Oh, if I would, if the Shalai would have survived one turn. One turn, I would have had Shalai Spark Double. If it wasn't for that meddling harpooner. Or if I would have just played the Dawnbringer first. Hmm. So do I want to spark double the Lyra? Or do I want to try to save Spark Double for Shalai? Yeah, shall yeah, shall I spark double is just a huge yeah, that's a that's a hard luck. Wow, getting rid of Nissa. Um So I can gain 13 how much can they hit back for? 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now I would gain 13, so I would, I would go to 19. So, yeah, this is... I mean, depending on what they draw off the Teferi, I guess... But basically, I can make it a two-turn clock by just attacking here. Oh, wait. I'm gaining 15. Right, because these are all going to pump each other again.
But assuming Teferi bounces this Lyra... I guess it depends on what they draw. Hopefully they brick off of this. Trust me. You'll thank me later. They don't have lethal here. Let's try this. And I can even I can even block the 5-4 if I need to. They can have the Nissa back. An army of Lyra's bring in the dawn. Dude, spark double is sweet. All right, one five zero. This deck is nice. You play a lot of really close games. Like I saw, like so many of those games are like just really close. But shall I, Lyra, spark double? These cards just win games. Like they're not. They're not fancy, you know, like there's, you know, you look at this and you're like, well, where's all like the card advantage? Where's your like crisis is and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's really, it's this card. This card just, just wins games. Um, you know, just being able to dig and, and find instant speed Lyra Dawnbringers, instant speed Shalai's. Spark doubles to copy Shalai. It's really, really effective. As we saw there with those games. Yeah. GG's, bus. GG's there. Um, basically, so yeah, why am I not playing uh, Krasis? Is basically, I, I already have like a really high curve you know like I have, a, I have a lot of these fives and sixes and i just or fours and fives i just don't really want more and you know crisis doesn't work with arc bow basically that's that's the main thing crisis doesn't work with arc bow um but i mean growth chamber guardians aren't spectacular um what was another yeah yeah this deck stabilizes against mono red that's what mono red is the reason why i have baffling ends in the main and why why i have growth chamber guardians honestly because I was playing this deck before with only Paradise Druid and Arc Bow as my only twos, but I was too slow against Mono Red. So now I have, so I have like the Growth Chamber Guardians just to be a speed bump on like turn two or on turn five, be able to be a four four, and that's why I have the main deck Baffling Ends. Before I just had four Baffling End in the sideboard, but I wanted those in the main. Um... Yeah, I have I have the fourth Frilled Mystic in the sideboard. Um, yeah, I used to, whenever we very first started playing this deck, we had null hide Feroxes, but I've just found that just going, going with the flyers is better. Uh, there was more Esper Hero at the time too, and and Hero Precinct One made me just want to stop playing uh, null hide Ferox Also, yeah, this deck list is on Stream Decker. It's from like last weekend. It's ban. It's labeled as ban Arcbow MCQ, but there's there's the link to the list then. Uh, I don't have an answer about the stained glass planeswalkers from last week. If you didn't get them, I, I honestly don't know. Um, oh, I don't I don't know what I would cut for fourth frilled mystic main, honestly. But yeah, it could be main because it is such a good card. Maybe I just shouldn't be playing growth chamber guardians and have. Have like a third baffling end, uh, fourth to fairy, fourth frilled mystic. Put like both of those in the main, and like Tristani also. Maybe that would be better than Growth Chamber Guardians. Just like a. Th Maybe. Maybe more spark double. Um, I don't know. I'll just keep thinking about it. But for right now, I mean, I'm still just winning with the deck, so I don't really want to change anything. But anyway, Hawkeye's here telling me that it's time for me to feed him, so I need to do that. So if you're watching the video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and please hit the like button on the video. Yeah, just like that. Yep, just like that, Hawkeye. Hit the like button. Yeah, like button. See, he's got a hidden like button. High five. High five. High five. You want high five? Okay. 
Anyway, um, subscribe to the channel would be nice as well. Get your cat butt off the screen. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Hawkeyes are ready for food. Oh, uh, and I.